we've seen after the election unfolding is systematic, planned and intentional torture used by the state. So we're not talking about the bad apple in a system, but we see clear evidence of a planned and organized uh, type of violence, a policy of cruelty, you could call it. Uh, there are more than 500 cases and likely even many more because it's only the tip of the iceberg of people coming forward with their stories. The state of Belarus at the moment is in total denial that something happened. They changed tactics, but they are in denial. Uh, there's no investigation going on on any of these cases. Victims face reprisals for allegedly participating in illegal demonstrations with heavy punishment. And uh, the state is clearly unwilling to address these issues. Uh, and I think the key is now that we see the crisis in Belarus really as a human rights crisis and that we also have the international response including by the United Nations Human Rights Council on this issue.